What's up? It's Christmas Stone Fox Media and wonderful announcement news today. It looks like there's actually a good amount of announcement news that just came out. So of course, uh, Mirror's Edge Callus has just received a new trailer and a closed beta has been announced. So DICE has uh, released a new trailer for Mirror's Edge Callus. Uh, the game is supposed to come out on May 24th. Uh, they did show us a new trailer called I Am Faith. It looked pretty darn nice. It's pretty crisp. Uh, of course, this was in-engine, so that, that's not what anyone's going to get. You, just not gonna get it. The closed beta for the game has been uh, announced for Xbox One, PS4, and PC. So you have to go to your EA or Origin account to register for the beta. But there's no guarantee that you'll actually be able to get access to it because it's closed and only the cool kids will be able to get in. Maybe I can get in, but I don't know if they think I'm that cool. So please let me in. I I really want to play this game. Please, please let me in. Please. The details around the beta have not been announced yet, so no one knows officially when they're going to do it, but they don't have much time since the game's coming out in May. So, yeah, there's more Mirror's Edge news for all of you Mirror's Edge fans out there. Now, moving off from that, uh, this is actually Bungie-related. I know, I know, Bungie, Bungie. They lost everyone's faith. But this news is actually particularly interesting because Bungie is asking why you haven't been playing Destiny anymore. They want to know why you haven't played it. So Bungie had been sending out emails to the players who have not been playing the game anymore. Of course, uh, they have been losing a lot of gamers. They won't even talk about their users anymore. Before, they were like, oh, man, we got millions of people playing all the time. And now they're like, you don't need to know all that. So uh, they send out messages to everybody uh, and, and to other people. I haven't checked my emails yet to see if I actually got a message from them yet. But it just says message from the tower. And it says, why haven't you been playing Destiny lately? Check all that apply. And they have random uh, things going all the way down the line from I don't have anyone to play with, i.e. raid. Uh, they also have uh, their run out of things to do. Uh, that should be the most obvious one, that no one has anything left to do in this game. Uh, they also have things going all the way down to uh, there's too much repetition, too much grinding, and some other things that you want to write down. I know a lot of people are going to write things like, uh, you suck, you have no story, the Taken King had no ending, they had all this talking before, and then once you kill him, he, you just show up at the tower and they don't even care that you're there, so they're just like, whatever. Thanks for taking care of this super darkness of the galaxy, but that's just me. Now, moving off from that news, and this looks like uh, Sony is going to be introducing an alternate payment method for PSN. Uh, they partner with PaySafe. They did say they're going to start this new service in 19 different countries, including uh, Austria, France, Germany, Italy, Switzerland, United Kingdom, and more countries are going to be announced. And uh, I guess they just want people to have different payment methods for PSN. I personally think that PSN should accept payments in tiers because because people can't get on the network because the network's always down. Tough crowd. Moving off from that news, there has been a new announcement for a limited edition Uncharted 4 PS4 launching in April. Of course, these are the actual images of it. You see that you get the console is going to be 500 gigabytes of storage for $399. Uh, it's going to come with the Nathan Drake image across the front of it. There is a new wireless headset that is of course in the same painted color theme and a new DualShock 4. Okay, okay. I am not super excited about this particular limited edition PS4. I'm having trouble falling in love with these limited edition consoles it doesn't matter uh if it's like you know playstation or xbox it, it really doesn't matter the problem i'm having with these limited edition consoles is that they're really not that limited every time i see them i see stickers i see a sticker and a paint job and that's it that's it there's nothing limited edition about this and and, and maybe it's just me maybe i need to be like oh man this one is dark gray and this one is silver and this one is light silver and for, for me a limited edition console should be limited it should look like something insane for me it's like if you took the playstation 20th anniversary ps4 and you combined it with the actual ps1 to make it look 
like the PS1. I mean, the top loading thing, that's limited edition. That's like, ooh, a top load PS4. It really takes you back to the classics or even have it be fake and just have it open just for the heck of it and be a place to store your games. That will be interesting. To me, that's limited edition. But these stickers, notice a the theme here. What's limited about these? They almost look exactly the same. I would honestly say that the only thing that, that's different about it, it, it at least with this freaking uh, Dragon Quest one, at least they had the decency to hot glue a piece of slime to the front, even though it technically blocks the USB ports, but whatever, that's neither here nor there. You get what I'm saying, right? They should be limited. I mean, this is Nathan Drake's last hurrah in this game, and he gets sticker. A sticker, people. A sticker. And that's all news I got for you guys right now. Like, subscribe, follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook. You know, as soon as my news becomes available. Thank you guys for watching, and I will holler at y'all later. Thank you guys for watching my whole entire episode. I really do appreciate it. Hit that like and subscribe button, and after that, go to my Stone Fox Media store. Get cool things like shirts, iPhone cases, you name it. Uh, you got mugs. There's nothing in the mug.